The following program is brought to you by the Internet Broadcasting Organization. Welcome to Sexually Educated. I'm your host, Amber Rose Bentley, here with my special guest. Adam Farrell. Today we're talking about the people that you cheat with. Do they have special characteristics? Is it different for men and women? Because I believe it is. But we're going to start off by talking about some awesome guy in Tennessee. He's a 49-year-old man in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. He decided to deposit something into uh, an ATM that wasn't quite accepted. Um... I bet it was yeah. a, a rather small deposit. Yeah. I, well, I mean, as a guy who just moved back from Tennessee, um, every woman there either has a child or, or um, some sort of really bad blood or some sort of really bad baby daddy. Yeah. So it's like anytime you talk to a woman, your life's kind of on the line. So <laughs> um, I guess this guy was just like, mm, well, the ATM, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so he tried to have sex with an ATM, and when he was uh, he was walking around the bar, thrusting his hips, and he was like, I can't find a woman without a baby daddy. No, he didn't say that, but he could have. And then all of a sudden, he got caught by the cops, and then they put him on a picnic table outside, and he started to have sex with the picnic table. <laughs> I, I just want to know if the women in Tennessee are that bad that an ATM and a picnic table look more appealing than it. Not all of them. No, there's a lot of really good-looking women. They're, they're just all <laughs> spoken for in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> Their or, boyfriends have like 20 guns in the yeah, back of the car. They have 20 guns in the back <laughs> of the car. A little knife in their boot. It's scary. <laughs> maybe he liked the picnic table because it, it had more wood than him. Oh, good, good, good one. Well, good. I was thinking maybe he went for the ATM, like hoping maybe some money would, you know, come flying out or something. Yeah. He was hoping that was going to be his sugar mama. Yeah. Then <laughs> the it's like, I table. really enjoyed this. It's like that movie Her where the, like, the machine is like in love with the guy. <laughs> I don't have four digits, but I got one digit for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got four inches for four. that machine. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, Tennessee. You got to love the South, though. I feel like this would only happen in the South. Uh, probably. You, you could only find a messed up drunk guy in the South that would be willing to have sex at the picnic table and an ATM. Absolutely, yeah. And, <laughs> and he, was, he was like, I got lucky twice tonight. <laughs> like... He thought it was like a two for one special. I just want to know what happened when he got to the police station. You like giving <laughs> cops the eye, like <laughs> you're next. I mean, I just want to feel a warm body yeah, this time. Just... Well, did, but did the did the ATM feel cheated by the picnic table? I I don't I don't know if it's solid. I don't know what well, happened. I'm pretty sure they're both solid. Oh, I, yeah, good one. Huh? I'm just willing to bet he was either singing "Friends in Low Places" or like a David Allen Coe song the entire <laughs> time. <laughs> she said, "I love her till I." He's die. like, at least it wasn't a black picnic table. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. He is from Tennessee. <laughs> That's the other thing, too, yeah. <laughs> I remember you know, I was in Tennessee. I was like, yeah. I was talking about my best friend, and they're like, your best friend's gay. And I was like, yeah. And it was like, you just get the eye because everyone there has such a strange judgment on everything. But he's like, but I'm going to go have sex at that picnic table. But your best friend's <laughs> yeah, gay? Yeah. <laughs> we accept two things. We don't accept two things down here. ATM's good. Man, no. <laughs> Put your dick anywhere you want, but not in a man's butthole. Like, right on, Haas. Rock and roll. <laughs> Stick to that natty light. Right. Uh, okay, have you ever been the other man? Uh. That's a yes. That's a yes. <laughs> Anytime someone laughs like that, that's a yes. Yeah. Um, yeah? Yeah. I, I think a lot of men have been the other man. Okay, know. but wait. Okay, here's the question about being the other man. Did you care that you were the other man? Um, the first time I, I did, that didn't stop me, which was pretty crappy. Yeah. Um, but I was young. I was like 18 or 19. Um, the second time, no. No? Because <laughs> that guy was, uh, he, he wasn't a good man. And, you know, she probably could have left him, but I just. Did you like her? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I'm, the, I'm getting real into it. Yeah. You know, for, I mean, for the most part, yeah, she was a cool girl, but I, I just felt like she needed, she needed more. Than what, and she was in a bad situation. Like they lived together. Yeah. So, like, if this was in Tennessee, I wouldn't have done it. But, <laughs> but here, um, you just go find yourself an ATM. Yeah, I didn't feel. I mean, there was a certain part of you that you're like, oh, I, I let my bro down, but he wasn't my bro. Yeah. So it was. 
you know. I feel like for women, it's like this huge, like, I don't know, because, you know, feminists and guys suck. Most guys cheat. Like, I, uh, there's these, um, I don't know if you want to call them whores. I think they're sexually expressive women that have a slogan that's like, all men cheat. I don't completely agree. Most do. But I feel like when women get, like, when women are the other women, you're just feeding into that stereotype. You're like, uh, granted, he'll probably cheat with someone else, but I mean, you have something to say? Well, I was just going to say, I, I find that when women say that, uh, that all men cheat, they're the ones that actually do most of the cheating themselves. I mean, I don't know about that, but... Uh, mm-hmm. No, I mean, to categorize anyone, I mean, women are just as big as whores as men, so you can't say, like, all men cheat, all women cheat. It's, 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 I mean, what type do you go for? I mean, I, I think it's all a matter of people getting bored. Like, people get really comfy and secure in relationships, but they get bored sexually or they get bored intellectually even. Or the forbidden fruit. Well, well that's... Yeah, that's that is also true. But I did read something, and it's like it was like to keep your man your man, or to keep your person your type, because it's like, a, is there a certain type, like a wifey type or whatever, and or the side chick type? It's like you probably don't look at a girl like, you know what, I'm gonna sleep with you on the side. You know, it's it's it's, 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 it's not what happens. But I can see where there could be a type in that. But at the same time, I feel like. Again, what you said, like intellectually or anything like that, if you're stimulating your partner, I mean, obviously, if it's all about sex, then, yeah, they're going to cheat on you because that's all it is. They're going to find someone that's more intellectually stimulating and all that fun stuff. And I read an article one time and it said most men that cheat with other women divulge more to their affair, like to their partner, like their affair partner or whatever, than their actual wife. Um, well, I guess I'm admitting guilt here again. But, um, no, I mean, I guess that's kind of true. Um, but it's also cause it's, it's like a, it's kind of like a step outside of the box. Like there's, there are those guys who are always going to sleep around. Like they have two or three girls and none of them know that they all think there's his girlfriend. And then there's that guy who's in a relationship and he loves the girl and everything's great. But you know, you kind of like he said, forbidden fruit. Yeah. You know? No. And I think we all do that. And it is the boredom, blah, blah, blah. Everyone. I, I don't know. I mean, I was young, dumb and full of cum at one point in my life. And yeah. And uh, no, but I, I, I cheated or whatever. But the other woman situation, I had that actually recently. And it was like to the point where it was a guy really, it, I'm going to make this really awkward really quick. <laughs> Welcome to the show, by the way. Um, <laughs> so uh, I was supposed to date this guy. He, he says, I meet him and he says, you know, I'm so sexually attracted to you, blah, blah, blah. This is my wife. Date her and I'll buy you whatever you want. Like, I'll take you guys shopping. I'll take you on vacations, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's what I said. I was like, I like guys and girls. That's cool. I'll join. And then it so happened that he kind of like started moving the wife out of the situation. Kind of like, she's not here anymore. Hey, come hang out with me. My wife's not home. Hey, come uh, hang out with me. My wife's going to be upstairs sleeping and putting the kids to bed. I'm like, all right, I'm good. And then, like, I kept seeing him out and stuff like that. And I would always get text messages whenever I saw him out. And it would just be like, make sure you know. And, like, I I went out with him one time. And I was and I said to him, I said, if your wife knows about the situation, I'm cool with it. I don't ever believe. I don't want to be. I feel like women that are the other women. And I feel like women have these characteristics more than men. They have these, like, dad, dad. They have issues. Like I, I don't know. That's and, and estrogen. I, yeah, yeah. It sounds stereotypical, though. Like it sounds. I'm sound like a sexist jerk, but I'm a woman, so I guess I can be. I don't know. Anyways, but yeah. No, I mean that's a weird. That's a weird situation. That to me, that's a guy who's like, okay, I could either cheat on my wife and have a blow up, or I can like move one in, and then kind of. <laughs> It's like move another one out, yeah. and then like that time when it com- when it comes time, he's just like, well, you you know Amber, she's cool. So, <laughs> yeah. like, you understand it, right? Like, th- so that's kind of weird. But um, I understand like the being the other woman thing. Like, I can understand getting worked up about it because even when I was doing it and I felt bad about it, like I beat my I- I'd be on the way to the girl's house beating myself up. Yeah, no, and you do because you're like, and then uh, that's when he started texting me. I was just like, at some point, you're like, because uh, I always decided like at that point I was trying to make changes anyway, and I was like, this is like me taking a step back, and I was da- I started actually talking to someone else, and I was like, oh, okay, so this is me actually being progressive and good. This is taking a step back because if you're with someone that's emotionally unavailable, you already know the situation you're getting yourself into. Mm-hmm. You can't expect anything. I mean, the women that are like, oh, well, we're together, and he's going to leave his wife for me. You're an idiot. You're an idiot, just so you know. And if he does leave his wife for you, you're going to be left for him, someone else eventually as well. Yeah, and you're stuck with that karma and that stigma for the rest of your life. Exactly. I but mean, I mean, but I feel again, I feel like women get way more like, and this is just like, I feel like it's society, whatever, the sluts, whatever. But women get a lot more shame put on us for being the other woman than men do for being the other guy. Absolutely. Because it, it's more, I guess it's more expected of men. 
Yeah, exactly. But women are also better at it. Oh, I feel like it, keeping it secret of, or not keeping it secret, but being, what's the term? Being like, you know, James Bonding that, you know, like being undercover. Guys are sloppy and it's almost like guys want to get caught sometimes. Then you have those guys that are like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'll change. And they don't. And then you have the guys that are just like, whatever, you know? Yeah. But with women, it's, you know, there's no, there's no just, you know, it's all, it's a big deal every time. Yeah. And yeah. I think that comes from, you know, even decades ago, like in the, just how women were portrayed to the 40s, 50s, 60s. Like it's, you know, they were, they're always considered secondary to men, which is stupid. Yeah. You know what I mean? So at that point, it's like, well, if you did it, blah, blah, blah. You did it well. It's okay. You're Don Draper. You know yeah, what I mean? So yeah, like it, exactly. It, uh, you're a pimp, but I'm you're a whore. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it is. It definitely is. And the being, but like, I don't know. Like, there's women that actually like thrive, and there's guys too. But there's women. I feel like women get have a way more advantage. Like, I don't know, advantageous perspective on this, only because like usually if you're the other woman, you're getting hooked up. Like this guy. Like I remember like. Before I was completely not okay with the situation, he took me and like a bunch of people to the strip club and blew like five hundred dollars, and just like literally looks at me and goes, "Daddy's gonna take care of you." And I was just like, "Oh, you, all right, oh, 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 okay, well, give me some more money. I'll take another lap dance. There we go." Do I have to call you daddy? Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Bob, is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't sound pedophile at all. <laughs> no, not at yeah, all. Yeah, but it sounds easier to explain. Oh, I went to the strip club with old Uncle Bob, you know, <laughs> making her green. You know, you know him. <laughs> oh, he's trying to touch me. <laughs> that's weird, um, Uncle Bob. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I, I mean, I feel like that. I mean, that's that's. I feel like the stigma plays, and I mean, you see a lot of guys, and I'll even say stuff. I'll be like, you know, I have I, this girl recently. She. Uh, She's friends with a friend of mine and she's banging this guy. This guy has a girlfriend and she's banging this guy. Her best friend's banging this guy and the guy has a girlfriend and they're all Facebook friends and comment on each other. And I'm like, how do you do that? How are you the other chick and your Facebook friends with his girlfriend? How do you look someone in the face and be, I, I fuck your man. Oh man. I said the bad word. But anyways, I screw your dude. Like, how do you do that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I I, well, I don't know. Like I said, like my first time, it was a friend of mine, but we didn't really see each other. We were kind of on, we weren't on the outs, but it was, but that was also before Facebook. So it wasn't yeah. like, it's MySpace. God, I am so old. <laughs> like back when I was MySpace in it. But like n <laughs> nowadays, it'd be awkward. Like it, I, I, you can't do anything without someone knowing where you're at. Exactly. Or, or what you're doing. And it's just, no, I wouldn't. Yeah, but like, and that's what I'm saying. Like I was, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I Facebook stalk people, but it's not even like I Facebook stalk for information. I'm just like looking at people's lives. I find it interesting to look at people's lives. People I don't even know, which is really random and weird. I'll be like, I know your whole entire life story, but I know nothing about you anyways. But I'm just looking, I know the story. And then I start like looking at their friends and I'm like, she liked the same post I liked. Oh, and I'm like, how are they? What? How how are you friends with someone like you're banging her boyfriend? And and the post is like the boyfriend and the girlfriend out together. Yeah, right. Like <laughs> I love him so much. Like, like, like I'll see him later. Oh my gosh, you guys are such a cute couple. What? In parentheses, I banged him last night. He tastes great. She's like smirking, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I don't I don't understand, and I feel like a, a lot of girls are like that, or the girls are in a position where they're like, oh, he pays all my bills. Like that guy, like. I'll pay for whatever you want. I'm. You just got to keep your mouth shut and stay on the side. See, I can never do that. I mean, keep, keep, like, keep your like, mouth shut or stay on the side. Pay for someone to keep their mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, because to me, like to, to do something like that, like there's got to be some sort of actual connection. It's not like, well, I'm bored of my girlfriend. I'm just, this girl's hot. I'm gonna go bang her and take her out to dinner every now and then. That's. I mean, it was like you said earlier about normally divulging more information to the person you're cheating with. Exactly. You know, that's kind of how. I guess it was for me. It was like, oh, okay, well, I can talk to you. Like, this is cool. It wasn't, all right, let's go out and get drunk and bang, and you don't have to worry about anything. I couldn't do that. Like, that's too much of, I guess, being like a, kind of like a pimp or a... Yeah. But no, I, I think they make themselves feel better, but like, oh, well, we just had sex. Here's here's some money to go shopping. Oh, yeah, it's totally a guilt thing. It's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like, oh, and you're like, I'm not going to tell his wife because then I don't get $350 to go buy whatever the hell I want with. See... If I had the money to do that, I'd give her money and then probably the wife too. I'd be so broke. Like it'd be like here's you, 350 for you. Here you can have 400. For what, honey? I don't know. Go buy some more towels. I whatever you want. I just got my dick sucked by another woman. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> that's what that's for. You might have AIDS. 
I worked really late, <laughs> three uh, months in a row. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, but I, and, and like every guy you talk to about it, like is, and then that's the difference. Like every time you talk to a guy about it, they're like, um, what do they say? They're like, oh, I don't know, him. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> obviously, I was giving it to her better, and it's just like that's not what it is at all. Clearly, <laughs> like it's definitely not you were giving it to her better. Like maybe that is a little bit of it, but you don't care at all about the guy. And women, we have like this internal like. I, I don't know, the feminist in me is like, how could you do that to a woman? You should be ashamed. Like, we're ruining women all over the place. I don't know. Yeah, but we're the same way. Like, you'll be in a bar, and, like, there's always that one guy that's in the group that, like, a, some other friend brought. And he's like, yeah, dude, man, like, goes out. And, like, he thinks it's cool to talk about that stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, I cheated on my girlfriend. And you're just like, dude, you're a scumbag. And then, like, four weeks later, your best friend's like, dude, I, and you're like, all right, well... It's okay. Well, damage control. It's cool with me. Like, yeah. I got it secret, but you don't judge them. But it depends on the situation. It's everyone's a hypocrite. And I mean, I haven't met very many people who have told me they've never cheated and I believed them. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, that is true. Or been the other person. Cause like, I, I mean, granted I have, I don't know. There's like these characteristics of women that are the other bitch. And like, it, like it describes me almost to a T like it is crazy. I sound weird. I sound like a robot. I thought that was just my head. I sound like a robot. We, why do we sound like robots? Wait a minute. Is there something you're not telling us? We're robots. Um, sex robots. Sex <laughs> robots made for sex. Maybe you are <laughs> sex robots. You just didn't uh, know hold on. it. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, so here's the characteristics they say of a woman on the side. Oh, okay, that works. Or you could just stop. Oh, phones are amazing. Great. There's little internet contraptions. Okay, so we have... There we go. We okay, arrogance, greed, charm, sex appeal, loyalty at first. And I, uh, uh, to an extent, this describes me, but I, I'm really like, and that's when the one thing, I do a lot of shady shit for myself, but I, I will not be the other woman because I, I don't like, I believe in women empowerment, and I feel like that's like taking women a step back, but the arrogance, ha like, because girls think like, oh, I, I banged your man, that means I'm hotter than you. No, it means that you're a slut and you got him to, you know, whatever. Yeah. You, you, like, and guys think the same way. I banged your chick. That means I must be better in bed than you or better, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, I could have had some one night stands where I was a cheaty. I have no idea. Um. No, but it, it, it's different. If it's different, if you don't know, and it's different, like, if you don't know or if you find out later. Rather than if you know, because I mean, what you can't be held responsible if you don't know. Yeah. And, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Or, or even when, like I don't know, like when I did know, like for me, like I said, I always felt bad about it, but it, it was never like, oh, I'm hitting it right. Yeah. Actually, I didn't. Here's the okay. Well, I guess it, I never hit it. Is that even cheating? I did everything else. That's emotional cheating. I guess. And like foreplay cheating, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but even then, like to me, it was never about like being better. It was just I just got caught up with somebody who stimulated me kind of intellectually who was going through a hard time with someone i happened to be friends with so it was intellectual cheating intellectual yeah well that i mean we did stuff but just never when sucks. when the um when the big show came i actually got guilt ridden really yeah i could see i i, I could i could see it's like i don't but that's like how how do you not think i i don't know maybe i'm way too compassionate for other people how do you not think about the other person uh, that was the first time like i said the second time that guy i was like dude i don't care <laughs> yeah, but it, again, like, and that's what the thing, like, uh, someone was telling me that they were banging this guy's girlfriend or wife or something, and she kept coming over, and the guy, like, I guess she told him that she was having sex with this guy, so he, he has his number, and he calls him, and he's like, you know, we just got into fight, I'm sure she's on her way to you, da-da-da-da-da, and, like, he's just like, you know, it's not my issue, it's not my problem, like, what, you know, he's like, I know what you do, you good, and he's like, well, it's not my issue, and I'm just like, how do you not take responsibility for that at all, like, if you know the situation, if you know that they're married, if you know that they have this, like, I get it, like, there's things, there are situations, because I, I cheated on my ex, and I fell for the other guy, so at that point, it was something else. I'm sure in the beginning he was just like, that guy's a douche, I'm gonna bang his girlfriend. So, I mean, I, I feel like every situation's different, but I feel like guys take a more, I, I think women are a lot harder on themselves or we're harder on women in general when they are the other women as opposed to men. Yeah. And we said, we talked about that earlier, but like at the same time, like even still, like you say, like this, your situation was this, and the other time the guy was a douchebag so you didn't care. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, even if the girl is like the biggest whore in the world and her husband, like that guy, okay, the guy in the, the guy that asked me to be his girl, like his wife had girlfriends, like girlfriends. So they had an open relationship. 
But I literally would like, I, he's like, come over and hang out with me and my wife. And I knew the way he was talking to me. And I was just like, I can't look her in the face. Like I, I couldn't. And then I would see them mm-hmm. out and I would look her in the face and I would just be like, and she, I remember one time she came up to me and she's like, oh, thank you so much for talking to him. Like, da, da, da. like, just like, like, because I was hanging out with her husband, she was like, like thanking me. And I was just like. I'm going to go in the bathroom and slip my wrist real quick with the mirror. So I'll be back. <laughs> like, that's just how I don't understand how someone faces it. Like knowing you cause someone that pain or you could cause someone that pain. I don't know. No, but, it, the whole situation is just awkward to me. Like, I don't that see that kind of stuff. I don't get like I couldn't share a lover. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I can have a threesome, but not with a girl I'm going to marry or a girl I've been dating for however long. Like, I'm just not going to do it. So like I had a couple try to pick me up a few years ago, like an older couple at a bar. Oh, <laughs> and I'm not even going to lie. I really didn't know. Like, looking back on it, I'm, like, thinking about things that were said, and I'm like, oh, man, like, that was really creepy. But, <laughs> like, it wasn't until the guy was like, you want to go back to our place? And, <laughs> you know, and our, he was talking about because he, he was like, uh, he's like, we got a little green, a little, little beer, and come back to the house. And I was like, like, at first I started contemplating, like, oh, I want to go party with these old timers. And yeah. I was like, oh, man. Like, no. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> like, I had a girlfriend at the time, too, and, like, I just leaned over to my uh, my roommate at the time, and I was just like, we need to go. Like, we have to go right now. <laughs> and he's just like, why? He's like, why? I'm like, it's this couple that I thought was really cool that's been getting us drunk the whole night. Yeah, they want me to go home with them. And he's like, well, what about me? I'm like, that's not the point. Like, well, we have to go. Like, we, I don't. He so, swoops in. He's like, I'm here. Yeah. Like, I don't get that. Like, I couldn't. And, like, I'm thinking, like, what did they want to do? Like, did they think I went both ways? Was he going to be like, I'm going to watch? Like, no, dude. Sometimes they just like, want to watch. <laughs> I'm not cool with that. <laughs> like, like, I, I mean, you could sit outside the door and listen for moans. Like, well, yeah, like I don't know what to do. Like, like, should I look back for instruction? Like, <laughs> like, like, He's like I'm, staring at you. He keeps getting closer and yeah, closer. Like, whoa, whoa, guy. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to scoot down the bed. I just, I don't know. No, I, and uh, yeah, I, I feel like in those situations there is, and I don't know. I, I think everyone has been the other person. Everyone has that shitty story about being the other person. I just, I, someone that continuously wants to make themselves the other person. It's like, like, and there's people that go strictly for that. Cause as you said, like you did it once, like you felt shitty. It was your, you know, whatever the next time you didn't care, but you're not like looking for the, that position always. And there are some girls that only like, that's the only position they ever fill. And it's like, you, you really don't want to be loved because you know that you're never going to like that. And guys are the same way. That is the only position. Oh, I'm dating this girl. She has a man. Oh, okay. What do you get from that? Because eventually, like, you get sex. That's whatever. Eventually, that's going to old, get old and suck at life. And it's just, it's just a, it's a dumb situation to enter yourself in at any cost. Um, I have met guys who are, like, proud of it, though. Like you were saying, yeah. like, And that I've never, like, and I've met girls, too. And to me, it's like, if you're proud of it, if you're really that proud of it, that's cool. But don't. Talking about it makes you sound so trashy and just kind of, it's like, how, how should I look at you as a person? Exactly. Yeah, and that's what t- you like, think. Character. Your yeah. character. Because, yeah, that's a, I was, we were talking about this girl recently, and I said to, I, I was talking to my friend, and I go, like, that just tells me something about her character. And he's like, what? And I was like, like, not only, she's Facebook friends with this girl. Like, you, like that tells me everything I need to know about someone's character right there. Mm-hmm. She's young and impressionable and doesn't have enough self-respect to, I mean, how, how, how do you respect yourself? How do you say, hey, I love myself. This is, you know, I, I appreciate everything and go out and do something like that. And then face that girl and friend that girl and be friends Smile and talk her to her. And... Smile at her. How do you do that? It takes a certain amount of gall, or honestly, a really big set of balls. A, a, a big set, or just complete lack, ignorance. It, or, yeah, or lack of compassion, lack of any. Like I don't know. Maybe I'm way too empathetic for other people, but literally, I'm looking at that. And, I'm, and I mean, I grew up in a family where my dad cheated on my mom all the time, so that could possibly be why I'm so like in this situation. Like I'm like, okay, I feel bad. You know, I always empathize with the woman, and I get it. Other women get pushed put in these positions. Sometimes they don't know. Like I had a friend that was dating a guy, and she found out like six months into the relationship that he had a girlfriend and i was just like uh okay and she at that point she's already in love with him so she's like i don't know what to do and it's just like but he has another girlfriend well i think a lot like i don't see i don't understand and i i mean i've never heard i haven't heard a lot of stories of women doing it but i've heard a lot of stories of guys doing it where that's happened it's been like six months or a year and like oh he had another girlfriend this whole time and to me, it's like he, there's got to be a certain amount of privacy in that relationship. There's got to be a lot of things he's not doing or a lot of time you're spending apart for yeah. him to be able to make that work. So if that's happening, like, how do you have an, enough time to get this close to this person and care this much? Like, what is going on? Like, what? I, I just I, I don't know. I don't I just I don't understand it. How does someone have that much free time that they cannot give it, devote it to two different people yeah. at the exact same time? Yeah. And without them ever knowing months, or without having a suspicion. Like if, if I was dating a girl for a year and I saw her three days a week. <laughs> 
I mean, unless, you know, it was like a work-related thing or if it was just, oh, I'm going out with my friends tonight. or Like, if that kept happening, it, I'd probably start thinking to myself, well, either she's dating around or this isn't that serious, like, whatever. But girls latch themselves on and they're like, oh, well, those four hours we spend a week together, he loves me. Yeah. And then, you know, the other however many hours he's with three different women. And then six months later, they're like, what? Yeah. But he bought me flowers. Yeah, to keep you shut up. And, like, yeah, you just, I mean, you start seeing things and you start seeing characters. And even in the guys. The guys... I feel like the guys usually, and and you, and there's always different circumstances, but the guys that feed on that relationship, that want that e woman that's emotionally unavailable, I feel like they they carry certain personality traits, and I don't feel like they're the same as the women. I don't feel like they're. I almost feel like they love themselves too much to honestly devote themselves to someone else. So they're just like, I'll just bang your bitch. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and the girls, it's like I don't love myself enough, so I need to feel the love that you like. I feel like you love me more than her if you're banging me on this. I feel like that's the difference, and the and that sucks because. I mean, I might be stereotyping, but I feel like that's how usually the characteristics of those females go. Yeah, well, yeah, I see. All right, like like when I date, for instance, I'm not I'm not that kind of guy that's like, you know, if I'm out and I'm drunk, you know, maybe there'll be a one night stand or yeah. something like that will happen. But if I'm looking for somebody, like I'm not. There are people who look for that instant gratification, like that instant love, yeah, and that first sign of is anybody showing it to them or anybody giving them any sort of physical or emotional, you know, affection, they pounce at it, and. You know, I, I'm one of those people who I dig. I probably dig too deep and I shoot myself in the foot with a lot of women. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like, I, I'm not. I'm When a woman comes up to me in a bar that I'm maybe not so into and she's just like, oh, it's like, okay. I'm not just gonna be like, okay, she likes me. I'm going to do it. Yeah. It's not like that. But there are so many people out there who are so insecure with themselves that they're just like, he talked to me for 10 minutes or she talked to me for 10 minutes. Boom. And then they're banging. And the next day, oh, well, I have a boyfriend. Oh, okay. And then they keep talking. And then that's how those situations evolve. But it's. It's a, I think it's a, it's a confidence issue for a lot of people. And it, and it is because you, I mean, that to be able to, to thrive on that sort, I feel like thriving on that sort of situation does mean you have no comp, like you have little self-respect or self-love because to, to need what someone else has. And that's the first thing you like the first, I mean, the women usually that a guy cheats on you with are going to be half the woman you are. They're going to be the women they they never they usually never look better. They usually you know they usually have less to offer, mm -hmm. but maybe they're offering something more sexually or something. But they feel like oh man, like that's the worst thing is like when a woman a woman get, like gets cheated on with an uglier woman and the uglier woman's like well he, he dates her and I got it. It's just like so you think that makes you guys comparable? Yeah, like, <laughs> like you got you you aren't like you you got you're getting what he doesn't give to her. So yeah. you're getting a little like 10% of whatever, you know, what yeah, it's getting split up either way and you're not you're not getting you're getting something but you're never going to get all of it. Yeah, exactly, but I feel like those women that are lacking in themselves or whatever, they eat up the attention even if it is because Again, it's going to have to, mo for more more situations than not, be minimal attention, minimal affection, mm -hmm. minimal anything. Um, yeah, and then, like, you have to, and then to be the other person, you have to be used to not being, like, there's, like, standards. Like, I remember the guy that I used to cheat on my ex with a long time ago, because, you know, whatever things happen in life. Uh, he used to say, like, I'm so good at being the other guy now. You taught me well. And I was just like ouch like uh i don't know if i take that as a compliment he's like i know never to call at night i know only call work you know you only text da, da, da. and like going through how he now knows because i should like because there were times he would text me and i would just not respond and usually you know guys are blowing up your phone if you don't respond he just took a minute out can you hear me is am i being heard i don't i can't hear myself you can't hear yourself no i can't you can't oh how, sure. how about she now sounds great yeah, thanks. Oh, great. Yeah, a little bit. Not really. Not really? No. How about now? Uh, yes, now I can. Yay, much better. Anyways, yeah, but yeah, so like, and I was just like, ha, like you, ah, but you do have to, honestly, to play that role, you kind of have to have a set of instructions like, you can call me between five and six, but yeah. not any other. You can talk to me here <laughs> and there. And like, I don't know. So I, one, I don't know how people don't see it before then. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, he has to walk out of the room every time he gets this phone call at this time or something like that. And one of my big things is like people that like are weird with their phones, like like how my phone's put down like this. That's like one way because people are trying to hide. Like, you know, if you get a text message, your phone lights up, kind of says who the text is mm -hmm. from or a call. When you have your phone down like that, it's almost like 
okay, so you don't want to see, like, you yeah, know. like, I, you do the, the quick flip. Yeah, exactly. Or you just always keep, I, I used to, I was so good at that. I always kept my phone down like that. Because, oh, someone hits me up, and my phone's always off. So, like, the volume's <laughs> always off. So yeah, the only so. person that knows that hit someone hits me up is me. So I'm like, oh, okay, I got a text. But okay, cool. See, that's being careful. All right, I had a friend. She might actually be watching. I don't know. I'm not going to say her name. But I had a friend. Uh, but we don't say names unless you no. want to throw someone <laughs> on the bus. <laughs> We're very nice about that. Um, but I had a friend up north, and she wasn't actually up, up in Tennessee. But uh, she wasn't actually doing anything with the guy. But we were out having a drink one night, and the guy FaceTimes her, right? And he FaceTimes her, and then he's like, I'll FaceTime again in a minute or whatever. And they hang up. And like I didn't really think anything of it. And then I'm talking to her, and she's like, yeah, you know, he's had a girlfriend for like six years. I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, that's kind of crappy, you know? And she's like, yeah, I don't know what to do. And she's like, yeah, he FaceTimes me from home, like with her in the other room. <gasps> I'm like, dude, you. you what? Whoa, like, how brave are you? Like, <laughs> you are one door opening away from being dead. Yeah. You know, like, because you have no explanation for that. It's not like, because, you know, actually he was black and she was white. So it's not even like, oh, it's my sister. Or like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, and plus he had been with the woman for so long that there, were, there would have been no she no would have known if he was lying. Yeah. yeah. And I, I just I remember kind of looking at her. I was like, you should probably stay away from that. Because... That's a lot of drama. Yeah. That's a lot of drama. Yeah. And that's that's the other thing. These people that are in these really, you have to feed on drama because that's all you're going to get all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, his wife almost caught us. Oh, his wife. It's just like, you, yeah, you give yourself that drama all the time. Yeah, like if I want excitement, I will go to Bush Gardens. <laughs> I will drink like five beers, ride some roller coasters. Throw up maybe. Yeah. You know, something Puke fun like that. Puke on some kids. It'll be an awesome time. But like, I'm not going to, I don't know. I, like, I, I guess I understand the excitement of it because like you know it's kind of like the thrill of the chase yeah but you know i feel like in the, again that i feel like it's one of those things that everyone gets out of their well most people get out of their system when they're young and then they grow up and they realize oh shit people have feelings karma's a bitch see some people don't realize that though like there are truly like i feel like if you can't respect yourself you can't respect somebody else's feelings yeah if you don't respect how you feel about yourself if you're not confident in your own skin you look at other people and like some people are, are resentful of it like um you know i I, I'm not gonna lie. I've looked at a guy before. Like it's more so when we were in high school, way yeah. back in the day. But like you look at a girl dating a guy, and you know, I'd be upset with him because he was dating her. But it would make me feel worse. And it was just, I'd be comparing myself, and then you know, then then it goes to, oh well, the girl in drama class gave me some attention. I'll go over and talk to her. <laughs> but I didn't feel good about myself. So anytime I went to go talk to a girl, because of that guy, because that guy was dating the one girl I liked, I couldn't talk to the other one I liked because I kept comparing myself to him. And you know, people just let that beat them down, and then you know someone smiles, and they're like, "Ooh, you know." Yeah, but if, if you can't love yourself, you can't respect how somebody else feels. And, that, and that's I, that. I don't know. I feel like anyone that is the other person, and you know the situation. I, obviously, there are exceptions. Like um, I was telling someone recently, uh, I was the other girl, but I didn't know. I hooked up with a guy. He was like, I just got on a like four and a five and a half year relationship, and he was my rebound. And he told me, I knew he had a baby mama, but he told me they were broken up. He was living away from her, which was true. He was living away from her, but they weren't broken up. I just didn't know at the time. And then he keeps, after we hook up, he keeps hitting me up. And I was like, ah, it's, it's weird. It, it, it. Meanwhile, back in my life, two years later, I find out that they actually were still dating. So I was just like, cut all ties with them. I was like, you're a scumbag. Like, we were friends. I can't believe you lied to me, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. And then they start coming in my work. And we, I knew her previously because we were all friends. And... He, uh, they come in my work and she starts coming in like all the time and asking for me all like all both of them together and I'm their server and I have to serve these people. And then they break up again and she starts coming in and just asking for me. And I'm just like, this couldn't be. And, and then she gets pregnant again. And I'm like, ah, this couldn't be any more awkward for me. Like, I'm just like staring at, and he's just like looking at me. I'm like, uh, more bread. Do these guys like more? Like, it, that's weird for me. Cause it, it, in that situation, I had no freaking clue. I had no yeah, idea it, until after the fact. So, I mean, I still felt like shit. I was just like, man, you're a, like, I just want to be like, I just want to tell her how big of a piece of shit you are. But she was just as big a piece of shit. But so equally shit people. But well, regardless. Well, sometimes you feel like you have an obligation. Like I, 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 live, I moved to Illinois for a year <laughs> when I was 20 and I served at an Applebee's and I had a manager, <clears throat> Laura, we'll call her. And, um. Laura had a husband that actually she he wanted to train like an assistant manager for a Jimmy John's. I had huge aspirations at 20. I was like, I'm going to assistant manager Jimmy John's. But <laughs> so he hired me at his Jimmy John's and um, I was working both jobs. And like a week into it, I find out Laura is with one of our other managers, uh, a male manager that worked there. And so I'm going in and I, I 
I really liked her. She was a really great manager. She was a good person. She still is. I'm still her friend. I didn't really like her husband, but I'm sitting there making sandwiches next to this guy, and we're talking about, like, the bears. I'm just like, dude, like, I feel like I have, like, I, I don't want to tell you, but I feel like I have to, and of course I didn't. And, like, a week later, he came into the Applebee's and, like, threw a vase of flowers at the, the male manager's head. It was, like, this big thing. And, you know, he found it anyway, but it was just, like, a week. I'm, and then after that, I never went back to Jimmy John's. You're like, he, I, I can't go back. He, I can't. Found, he found out I knew it was really bad. I'm like, I'm not going back. But I like, even though I didn't like him, I felt that need to tell him. Like, yeah. I felt like I owed it to him. But you, you, because you feel like that you're like, how do you not empathize with this person? Like, just leave. And that's like, that, I think that's another thing you realize. You're like, because you, every, they're like, oh, the situation's way too complicated to leave. There is no situation in the world that is too complicated to get the hell out if you're unhappy. Yeah. Life is way too short to be unhappy. So literally, if someone's dating you, and because that's the mo- the one thing that kills me when girls say it, I'm like, I'm literally looking at them like you're an idiot, right? You've seen every movie that says this in it, right? Like <laughs> you've heard songs, you've you've done this, right? Because it's like, well, he's gonna leave me, he's gonna leave her for me. No, he's not. No, and if he does, you suck. Like your your life's gonna, gonna leave suck. her for you, and then so on and so forth. And exactly. Like and that, they, but they these women convince themselves that this is exactly how it's gonna go, and the guys are just like oh well her man's never gonna find out yes he is her man is going to find out i was gonna say this right now as i look into the camera ladies if any guy ever tells you i'm working on it i'm gonna leave her i'm not happy go just go it's a douchebag that never ends (laughs) goes on that is true because if it's if it's gonna happen it'll happen quick it'll happen fast he'll be like i met you go to the the girlfriend be like it's ain't gonna work there's no such thing as oh i have loose strings or you know i have to tie some stuff up no if he's you know leading you along the path just go and yeah, and that's and that you look at that you you but we I mean I don't know I feel like the younger and the girl that I was talking about earlier the Facebook friend she's young and that's I I give her I'll say okay she's young she'll learn but you gotta that but what you learn at that age is karma is a huge ugly ugly horrible bitch she's ugly and horrible and blah 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 and we'll come back around we'll come back around Every wait time. the girl or karma both of both, them both <laughs> both yes. Yes. That's, see, that's when I cheated on my ex, my ex had cheated on me for three and a half years, and then finally I cheated on him. And then, like, when he found out, I remember I was telling someone the other day, and I was like, he walked in the bathroom, he shows me my phone, he's like, what's this? And he gets really upset. He might have even been crying. I looked at him, I go, how does it feel? <laughs> I was like, I was so cold. I didn't care, though. And it was like one of those things, again, you look back at the situation, I should have left this situation. I should have walked away. The guy I was actually cheating on him with tried like dating me after. I was like, I you were the other guy. Like this like, will <laughs> this will never work. You know that, right? Like let's just be real here. Like see, you were the other guy. See, it, like in those men are still, I call those those are special men. Yeah. Because there are some guys who are just like to hell with it. Like I'm gonna go for it. Like I, I think I, th- I think it's a difference between a man and a boy, a gentleman and an idiot. You know. <laughs> even even in those weird situations, there's still such a thing as chivalry. Yeah. Or common sense. And sometimes you just have to separate yourself from it. But I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of men that you're just like, really? Like, you screwed all this up and you still went back to that? Or like, you know, guys jumping around f- like female groups of friends and stuff? You know, it's yeah, like, you, you, girls talk too. Like, you, you having sex with five different girls, none of those girls are going to take you serious. One, and then you're it's not going to get worse. It is. Like, you bang my friend Shakita? Oh, yeah. And then <laughs> you, you get stabbed or something. That's what happens. <laughs> why I'm just why like, is it Shakita? I, it, why is it Shakita? Do, do you even know how to spell the word Shakita? Because I don't. S H A K I T A. I was thinking more or like like Shakita, but Shakita. <laughs> like like Shakita like banana, like but banana? Shakita, like Shakita <laughs> banana. I I don't know. It's where it came from. I don't know. It came from a dark place. On uh, next week's show, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 Shakita will be joining. Yeah. Us. <laughs> She's gonna spell her name for everyone hey, on I think, the show. I think we have a caller coming in. Shakita, are you there? No, I'm kidding. Oh, man, I, I went. Excited. That would have been awesome. I got all excited. I was like, yeah, really? Uh, okay, well, this is your weekly birth control reminder. Please. Oh, I was going to do the sound effects. Okay, fine. Time. Do the sound effects. Well, no, it's, it's too late. It's out now. Uh, you can still do the sound effects. Okay, hang on. I got to pull it up now. I, I got to pull it out. Just give me a second. That's what he said. This is why we need the effect in the birth control yeah, reminder. Yeah, exa- <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Guy's just pulling it out everywhere. It's not- <laughs> I mean, as long as you pray, I think you're good, though, right? Is that the rule? As long as you pray after. I, I, I'm always safe. I pull out. <laughs> and That wasn't it. No, that was horrible. That was like a... That was a text message that just came in. Oh, was it? Yeah. What did it say? It says that she misses me. Oh. Who, what? <laughs> Who misses you? Shakita? Shakita. <laughs> no, no. Uh, actually, um, I'm going to get married. <clears throat> Are you? Yeah. No, you're not. You're lying. 
That's your birth control reminder, everybody. And then there's text messages from, <laughs> you're getting married? Is this the girl you just broke up with? I'm sorry? You guys broke up, didn't you? We were on hiatus. And now you're getting married? Yes. And you popped the question? Yes. Dude, I did that completely naked in bed, still drunk once. It did not work out well. I'm not married, as you can well, see. So. Well, no, I mean, we were going to try and keep a hush-hush, but she's already, like, I just found out she's, like, telling everybody. So I'm like, all right, well, might as well just... Facebook official yet? When are yeah. you getting married? Don't know yet. Where are you guys going to live? Don't know yet. Uh, these are things you need to figure out before you tell someone you're going to get married. Where do you see yourself in five years? Yeah. Ruling the world. Okay. So you guys have to stay in Tampa, obviously. Okay, you know, no. Right now, things are up in the air. Oh, okay. But we're talking about we're talking about cheating, not not oh, my okay. marriage. <laughs> okay, your soon to be marriage. If you guys don't got another hiatus, no, no. This- Listen, talking shit about people and their relationships on my show is pretty much how I lost one of my co-hosts. So <laughs> I, I can say shit. I can say shit. Yeah, the only word I, <laughs> the only word I don't say is the f word, but I, I I still say it all the time. I did hear it earlier, but I, I wasn't sure what the I do. Yeah, was. that it is the I I also I don't know if I'm allowed to say dick as much as I say it. I, I it's your show. Yeah, but I'm not. There's allowed, no FCC. But I'm not allowed to say the f word. The dick. FCC will let you be. <laughs> let me be me. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we can start quoting Eminem if we'd like. I, we all are white here, so that's cool. I am whatever you say. <laughs> I guess and if I, I'm not, I'm well, gonna like, kick a freestyle in a minute. So give me a <laughs> you know what? I always tell people I'm so white, my birthstone's chalk. Yeah. I have a little brown birthmark on my leg, and I just tell people that's my real skin color, and my whole body's a birthmark. <laughs> I just be bone the wrong color. It never works. It's awful. No, I don't. I don't the 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 red might throw them off. Oh, everything throws them off. Oh, okay. <laughs> my- See, I'm driving on the street listening to Schoolboy Q, and I just get looks like, dude, no. No, like I can really listen to Kings of Leon or something. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we need you to go back to uh, listening to Daft Punk. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're all because we're all out to get lucky. Yeah, we, or happy. <laughs> I've had enough of Pharrell. I'm just gonna put that out there. Nice. Listen, I don't need to hear your text message tone every five minutes, five seconds. We get it, dude. You're getting married. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> Congratulations. She's really excited. We got it. Yeah. She's like reminding you. She's so excited. <laughs> yes. This is probably still going. Well, you announced it on air. What the hell? <laughs> At least you can't see you, so no one even knows who you are and that you're getting married. Well, I've, I think I've only actually had my face on your show one time, and that was when the banner fell. Yeah, that was when the banner fell. It sometimes gets loose. It's a loose cannon. Yeah, it's a sexy banner. Yeah, like, it is. It no, is. No, okay. I like my banners tight. Those are actually his lips that we put on there. Yes. I thought that when I first saw it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, I immediately just, assumed. You know, I just felt like that, that that I should put my signature on there somehow. Yeah, we see, and there's cum stains on there from you too, jerking off on your own lips. That's oh, cute. How, it's, how did you know? Yeah, yeah. You see, you see, it's. He got excited. It's it's not our fault. I mean, it is what it is. Hey, I'm I'm, I'm attracted by my own lips. What hey, man, you were on hiatus. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> no one's judging you. It was just a tip. <laughs> We've all had to dip into the spank bank before. It's okay. <laughs> hey, Rosie Palm and her five sisters are you know, and I are very well acquainted. So you know. I, if yeah, long distance relationships. That's not who you're do marrying. Though, yeah. Right? No. <laughs> he's he's marrying Pamela Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Anyways, okay. So our final thoughts on being the other person, because there was that Cameron Diaz movie, and the, you know they say monogamy is bullshit. Which, okay, I was talking to someone about this recently, and like blah blah blah. We are one of the only mammal species that practice monogamy. That is true. But we are also one of the most evolved species. Yeah. We, we, yeah. I mean, we're not, you know, let's kill a gazelle and go hump. We, we <laughs> Yeah. We'll hump it while it's still living. We have third world problems. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. But I mean, at the same time, monogamy is not easy. It is hard work and it it, it kind of sucks at times. I mean, waiting at to have sex at someone else's convenience, waiting for someone else, that sucks. It does, It's not great. Well, so, I mean, I don't think... You know, and I'm not one of those people who's like the internet's cool in the world, but I mean, social media, you know, it's like the Facebooks and the Instagrams, like it, I don't think it helps anything. It makes it way too easy. It, it makes it, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't count, uh, actually one of my friends, um, his, his girlfriend, she actually has a series on Facebook of guys just sending her creepy stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like she'll post the pictures and some people are just thirsty. No, that's, I, I was, oh my gosh, I was telling my boyfriend about this today. I accepted like two random people and I hope you're watching this because I don't want to call you out on Facebook, but please stop messaging me. If I do not respond to your message, if you see, you, and you can see on Facebook that someone checked your message now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know that I've seen every one of the messages you sent me the minute you've sent them to me because they go directly to my phone. 
and I haven't responded, what does that tell you? Like, clearly, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm not yeah. really that interested. And we've never met. Yeah, we've never met. So you're just creeping me the hell out now. And at one point, I'm probably going to call you out on Facebook and ask you politely via a status to stop messaging me. <laughs> I'm trying to be the keyboard pimp like, hey, boo. <laughs> hey, bae. I just found out what bae meant. The yeah, other day. I, me too. Me too. I thought it was short for bae, but so, no, it's not. So it's I, not. I thought there was being a letter left out. I thought it was lazy. But before anyone else. Yeah, it's cute now. Now it's a little bit cute, right? Yeah, but it's like, how many bays have you messaged today? <laughs> like, how, how many before anyone else's do you have? Or is this like a game to see who answers first? Exactly. <laughs> because if you answer first, you are before anyone else, so bae. you will be bay. Bay. Yep. What if? What about the second one? Are they say? <laughs> say way. Tay. K. Which is like a really old woman. Like, Zay. Oh, Kay. <laughs> Zay means you he were well, zafter everyone else. There's other ones like B O L. I didn't know what B O L meant either. Be- oh, busting out laughing. What's wrong with LOL? But yeah, what we have to we have people to... are cheating on LOL with B O L and I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it. Can you come or there's another one's like I don't know, that's like sit down or something. I don't know. There's I don't know. That's just that. Yeah. yeah. Is anyway, it, cheating. Cheating. Yeah. Not good. Don't be the other person. And it, yeah, you and and this day and age, it was really really hard. Cause I mean, back in like our parents' day, you had to like roll dial someone's number, so it took like two hours. So you weren't really like trying to date like four girls because it was hard. See, I feel like cheating would have been more exciting in the fifties. Yeah. It would have been like meet me by that pond eight. <laughs> And that's like three days before, you know? And like, you spend three days like, is she going to meet me? The ha- <laughs> is she going to be there? The hamster fight? is out of the cage at yeah. midnight. <laughs> Nowadays, you're like Facebook, and while you're Facebook and your girlfriend's on like a Facebook at home, check in, she's reading as it's happening. It's just... But uh, now that it's harder, people do it more, which makes no sense to me. Yeah, so they're like, I'm because it's way more accessible. Like, I will admit that I have an Instagram mostly to look at sluts. I, I'm not lying to you. That is what I, I check out. Like, I follow this thing called like Jim Kula. It's just girls' asses all day. It is amazing. It's nice. It is nice. And then they link the girl, and you're like, this would, like, the, and you see the thirst everywhere. You're oh, like, God. and these guys, like, I mean, some guy, I remember the other day, I follow this. I don't even, I follow random people because it's fun. I mean, my friends are lame as hell on Instagram. So I'm just like, let me follow someone that's interesting that's not anywhere. This person's like New York and he posts like, hey, can anyone come get me? His girl, wife, baby mama posts on there, behave yourself. And then they're like, da da da. And he's like, what? What? I'm just trying to have a good time. And then she's like, I'll, we'll finish this conversation via text. Well, you've already started Whoa. it on Instagram. You've already started the conversation via Instagram. Why not? Why not let us finish it with Don't us? Don't deny us of that. Yeah, like, yeah. exactly. Where this goes. Well, I'm pretty sure we all know how that conversation is going to be finished. Well, that and like I would send, I would just send a text message first. Like you're putting it out there immediately. Like you're telling the whole world, everybody who sees that picture, I'm upset. I'm pissed off. And then everyone crowds around it. Like, okay, this is going to get good. Exactly. And then, and then you do a text. What? Why yeah. would you do that to us? Why would you? Why would you keep that from us? You can even argue via videos. I think that'd be more fun. Oh, <laughs> direct messaging videos? Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yes. Or no, put them on like the feed. Like, let us just see the whole thing. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, th- th- these are ideas. These are ideas. But no, Instagram, it is way too easy to be anyone but yourself. And it's, it, gosh, so, so easy. You can call it in your FaceTime. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> are people having FaceTime sex yet? I just want to know. I don't know, but I had Skype <laughs> sex before. Oh, you did, Same huh? thing yeah, pretty much. Skype yeah. sex. Isn't it awkward? No, actually, because you can get some really nice angles, you know, which you can't get with Face oh, with Skype, you know? Yeah, but... I don't uh, <laughs> the, the FaceTime, you have to hold it too much. Skype, at least, you have, like, the computer sitting there, and you can angle it towards you. Yeah, I mean, I don't need many angles. It's just kind of like one of these. Like, maybe I'll do a panorama. <laughs> 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 just look at the beard. That's, <laughs> yes. you know... Well, that's, Does that's this all turn she, you on? That's what I have to do. That's, like, half half of my charm right there. <laughs> it's like, okay, mm, just just okay. say your bush is in the Northern Hemisphere. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh golly oh my golly could you imagine that like you're skype sexing some girl and then your girlfriend walks in or like you're your like, dog walks over <laughs> no <Yeah. laughs> see if i was like skype sexting like if i was a woman Ske- I guess, or, or sky, skype skype whatever. but if i was doing that yes yeah, skype skype sting, um, skype sting. Skype but sting. if i was a girl and like i saw the, the guy's girlfriend walk in i would not turn that off I'd be like, just keep it up. I want to see how bad this dude gets his ass whooped. Oh, like, all over the I, w- I would make it worse. I'd be like, oh, baby, are you going to do that thing yeah. you I like? Like, I would just, yeah, I'd totally play into it. You brought friends. 
Is she going to join us? Is no, that like, that girl you were telling me about that you met the other night? Honey, you guys are into honey, dominance. It's, 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 awesome. it's just webcam porn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, ah, golly. Is they, porn cheating? No. 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 I've that, met people who think that. That is, no. Porn no. is an aphrodisiac. Porn, I mean, I don't know who, yeah, I guess, but porn is porn. is porn. It's natural. It's entertainment. Obviously, it's not natural if you're beating your meat to it like more than you're actually getting it or you're replacing sex with it. Like but, that movie Don John? Yeah. It's they, not a good movie. You didn't like it? No. no. Because of that, I was just like, dude, come on, JGL. Come on. Yeah. But, 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 Scar Joe had no personality. And the accent, too, which I understand, oh. but... The douchebag Guido, but yeah, but he's like an anomaly if you think about it, because he was a douchebag Guido, but he like he wasn't hitting it. See, that's a psychological thing. <laughs> it's like yeah, your wife beat her on like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm eating dinner with Tony Danza. Like <laughs> that's ScarJo floating around there, man. What are you doing? Yeah, she sounds annoying. N- but... Nice sound effect, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, that's that was the mustard. That was nothing but mustard. That should be the next. This uh... is the time you're supposed to be getting that. What? Oh really? Yeah, that's that's what time you normally do it at. No, it's no, it's ten twelve. I thought. No, you did it at ten twenty every time for like since I've been here. Shh, shut your mouth when you talk to me, you dirty whore. Hey, don't look at me in that tone of voice. Okay. Anyways, so now we're gonna do tip of the week. Tip of yeah. the week. Just a tip. tip. Okay, we're gonna start with Adam's tip. Um, <laughs> gentlemen, if a- we're gonna start with Adam's tip, get it. If, uh, if you're about to get, you know, you, you know, a woman about to get down and she um, offers to put on some soft core, like female porn, say no. Um, it happened to me once and I ended up watching The Notebook and crying at the end of The Notebook. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And, wait. and not having any sex. So. Wait, wait, wait. Soft core. How did that, how do you go from soft core female porn to she, The Notebook? She didn't say soft core porn. She made it sound, I forgot what she said, but she made it, she goes, can I put on something that's going to stimulate me? And I was like, yeah. And, um. The notebook, Stimu- Ryan Gosling, stimulated her. Was she horny? Uh, well, I mean, like, we had sex, but, like, I was prepared for, like, this awesome thing, and then it was kind of like, okay, well, we're 40 minutes into the movie now, let's just lay around and watch it, and I had never seen it. <laughs> so then I, you poor thing. Yeah, then I watched it. She starts then, giving blowjobs, she's like, oh, you're crying, it's so romantic. No, I was crying, because she, she was crying, and I was crying, because I'm like, I, I don't, like, because at that point she had put, like, everything back on, and was like... <laughs> <laughs> she she did the sarcophagus light, yeah. you know, coffin lie but, down. Yeah. Anyway, the t- if tip is if if a woman ever asked you that, just, just go for the gold. <laughs> just, <laughs> you know what? I you know what? You're enough for me. You're Let's enough. do this now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're soft corn porn enough for me, baby. Throw the DVD player away. <laughs> right. Uh, my tip is from my friend, and he says, if you're a gentleman and you're you're gonna put in a hard night's work, make sure you stretch before. That is a good call. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Um, <laughs> he said you don't want to pull anything, and he's like, when you're trying to show off, <laughs> you, you, you know, you might you might pull something somewhere. When you go to do the signature move, and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> you start cramping in the middle of it. You're like, oh, ah, yeah. nope, can't do this. It was cool when I was 20, but now I'm 27, and it's like, okay, like, <laughs> okay. So I guess, this is, yeah, you're like uh, touching your toes. She's yeah. like, what are you doing? Uh, I got to take a couple laps around the apartment real Pretty quick. Much. Oh no, I'll go run laps around another bar if I know it's happening. <laughs> Like, I'll be right back, and they're like, I go next door, and they're like, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, just getting limber. Come back sweating, you're like, oh, yeah, I was just getting ready for you. She's like, do you want to get something to eat? I'm like, oh, something light, just a soup. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, so I guess this has been sexually educated for this week. Uh, so pretty much don't be a side piece, and if you are, be good at it. Don't get caught. And, uh, yeah, make sure you stretch and don't put on soft corn porn. Those are our tips. Oh, and have safe sex. Always. We'll see you next week on Sexually Educated.
This program was brought to you by the Internet Broadcasting Organization, setting the standard for new media broadcasting.